Hi, it's Libby. I'm in my kitchen right now. It's the 31st of August 2019 and I'm setting myself a bit of a challenge. From tomorrow I'm going to go zero free plastic. So hoping to not buy anything with plastic um, on the on the product. So anything that's wrapped in plastic I'm going to refuse to buy it. Looking around for products that can be used uh, it's like friendly, plastic free, compostable bags, um, all that sort of stuff. Okay. So I um, started off this morning, I've ordered milk from the milkman because that is in glass, so that's going to be good. I do drink milk, I, buy, I don't drink a lot of it because I make it. I make my kefir every morning. If anybody knows what kefir is, it's a milk product and it's like a, it's like a yoghurt. So it's really good for your digestive system actually. So I make that. So I've ordered my organic milk from the, um, the milkman, full cream. So that's sorted out. I don't actually buy water in bottles. I've not bought it for absolute years. Um, I have a water bottle that actually is um, a glass bottle that is, can't find it right now. But um, I use that for my gym and for my yoga classes. And I've encouraging all of my um, students to actually bring a non-plastic bottle or a sports drink bottle that's um, BPA, which is plastic free. OK, as much as it can be. I've actually got here, um, I don't know if you can see, I've got what's called the Big Berkey. It's like a, a big stainless steel um, water filter. And inside it's got huge um, filters in. It lasts about 10 years um, with the filters in. It was expensive, it was about 280 quid. But the perfect one is I've already saved money by not buying plastic, which I don't do anyway. So I started off this morning, um, did my milk, ordered my milk. I've been to Waitrose, I've bought some eggs, um, and obviously eggs are, my eggs, <laughs> my eggs are, um, they're organic as well, I like my organic products. So this paper, I can recycle, I can either put it in uh, for paper, but I'm not going to do that, I'm going to put it in my compost bin, along with the eggs, so the eggshells, as anybody knows, um, I don't want to sound like you know, people don't know these things, but there's quite a lot of people out there that don't do composting. I do. We can, you can compost eggshells, okay? And I've got um, a compost caddy. So I've got my little caddy here, it sits by my sink. So I put all of my vegetable peelings in and um, all the stuff like that, little bits of paper. So this egg box can go in there. And then when I finish, I put it in a, I've got a big, I've got a box outside. So I don't have to keep going to the compost bin with it. And then once in a while, I just I just clear the bag outside. So I bought some coffee, and I've opened this coffee. I do like my coffee. <laughs> it's one of my weaknesses. Um, purple coffee. So this is organic coffee, and it comes in a compostable bag. So this is great. I can just be quite safely put this in my compost bin. And so I don't know why other coffee companies can't use this packaging. Um, I went down to Waitrose today. This was on offer a couple of weeks ago and I bought a couple of bags, save a quid or so on each pack. But the actual other coffee that I wanted to buy today, which was on offer, um, was came in a plastic bag. So I didn't actually buy it. I bought this one instead. So it cost me more money. And this is the thing, you know, people say, oh yeah, but it costs more money to go green. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. And it, it takes time. And, uh, you know, I'm a bit of a... I want to show people how much it takes to actually find products with it not wrapped in plastic. So I bought a pineapple today from Waitrose, went shopping. Um, I'm not starting this thing till tomorrow. This, this pineapple did come, and it's in my bucket down here, with a little plastic thing with a little Kimball attached to it. It attaches to the, the stem of the um, pineapple. So that annoyed me because that's plastic. It's actually not paper that can be recycled it says plastic not currently recycled I don't know why they can't have a piece of paper um you know this is plastic so this is not going to recycle so that is a bit of plastic they've already got but i'm starting this one tomorrow and i'm just going to put that in my bin because i'm going to what i'm going to do that bin's going to stay there for the month and i'm going to put any plastic that i have to buy in there and i can sh i want to show you how little plastic that i've actually used in the month Okay, so, you know, if I get to a place where I've got to buy something, I'm desperate to buy something and it's in plastic, then unfortunately I'm going to have to do that. So that's me in the kitchen. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to show you. 
few things outside. So I'm going to come outside. It's getting a bit dark now. But here, I've got two buckets here. And both of these are old plastic buckets which I had uh, chicken pellets in for my garden. So I put my compost in there. It saves me having to go every time to the compost bins. So I put them in there and then take them down. I've got about four compost bins at the back of my house. I've got like a little veggie plot area there. And down here, you probably can't see, but it's getting a bit dark. Let me just see if I can find it. So here I've got some little um, tubs with... Um, it's got spinach in there, I've got uh, some lettuce, some spring onions, some spinach, some herbs. And here I've got um, my salad. That's not the salad there, so I can kind of find it. <laughs> I've got some salad there and all the way here. I've got some, just lift this up. I've got lettuce growing here. I've got lamb's lettuce. And then over the other side of the house. I've got, um, it's getting quite dark out here now, I've got my um, salad and um, herb sort of area, okay? So I've got lots and lots of different herbs in here, I've got some more sort of spinachy stuff growing there. Um, okay, so that's me for the day. So I'm going to get back on here in a couple of, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow and see how it goes for tomorrow. See how little that um, we buy, um, see how it goes. So I'm going to post this tomorrow, um, probably on Facebook. I'm going to put a post. Um, I also have got a bit of a YouTube channel, um, which will probably go on there. I'm just setting up a new channel right now, along with a new website. So that's going to be my next thing, is to get myself on, on YouTube. Um, so things are exciting. Things are changing, which is really good. And changing my uh, consciousness about how much I consume um, you know, sort of natural food as well. So that's that's probably one thing that will come about from this video. It's not just the fact that I'm not going to be consuming so much plastic, but the, the my food that I'm going to be eating is going to be more natural. So I'm not going to be eating a lot of um, shop-bought stuff. I don't anyway, but that will stop me buying like, um, I love things like the falafels you can buy, but they come in a plastic box. So I'm going to make my own. I actually bought some um, products from a company called Real Foods, which is an online uh, store, and it's a natural products. They do whole foods. So I bought loads and loads of pulses, chickpeas and stuff. So I'm gonna make my own falafels tomorrow. I've already soaked them, I've cooked them. And the Real Foods, the bags are actually compostable. So that starts off. So when I start showing you products that I'm gonna be using, because I'm gonna do some recipes on this as well, so when I start showing you some of the products, the plastic that the stuff's in is actually compostable. And I, I actually phoned them up and said, you know, I'm buying this stuff um, from you and um, trusting that the products are organic and natural and things like that. But what about the plastic it comes in? And the guy said, oh, no, it's all compostable. It's all fine. So that was a real big fine. So real foods, you can buy it by, um, I actually bought, um, actually, sorry, I, I buy a box sort of probably once a month and I just order what I want and it comes delivered. And if you, I think if you spend over like £30, something like that, you get delivered for free. Okay, it has to come from, um, you know, a place wherever the, the company is, but I, I buy a big amount of food and it, it lasts me for ages. A lot of dried pulses, rice, um, or, you know, uh, um, I'm trying to think of things, quinoa and uh, all that sort of stuff and grains. So they all come there and I, I do buy a lot of my um, products for my bathroom. So I'm not actually going plastic free in my bathroom at the moment, but I don't use shower gel. I use soap. Um, I use toothpaste rather, sorry, out of um, a jar. So I buy that online from Amazon and I've got a, um, a bamboo toothbrush, which is um, not plastic. Okay. So all these things I've tried to do already, I've been doing this for about three or four years now. Uh, and so hopefully, um, I want to just give people a little bit of confidence that you can do this. It will take time and it will not be easy. I know it won't be, um, but I think I can do it. So I will be posting things on Facebook and uh, see how it goes. Until tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.